trilateral AFP uh, agreement. Again, you were quoted in the newspapers as saying that, or expressing some concern about this. Can you describe on the record what exactly it is, just to get an accurate background uh, on this uh, issue? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, the issue of Mr. Chair um, came up when uh, it came out in the news that uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Civil Staff signed uh, an agreement with uh, Mr. Tell to have their towers in uh, military camps and reservations. So I said that I'm going to look at it, scrutinize it uh, closely, and uh, I'm going to make my decision to find out. But I will. I said that uh, it will. Uh, I will decide on the uh, interests of our country. The, the document is now in my office, uh, Mr. Chair, and uh, I have not yet. Uh, I still have to wait. I have still to receive the recommendation of our uh, legal uh, legal officers, legal uh, sections. And after I see that, then uh, I will decide if I sign or not. But uh, in addition, in the additional information on the uh, Mr. Latel uh, AFP MOA is that uh, the towers of Mr. Latel will only be co-located to where Globe and Smart Towers are already located. Uh, can you repeat that? The Mr. Latel Tower will be in the areas where the Globe and, and smart, smart are located. Are located. Yes, sir. Well, there are 130 place uh, locations uh, that are uh, all over the country that belongs to the armed forces, where uh, the globe and the smart are also. Which have been there since, since the, 2000. Right? Since 2000. They've been there since 2000. Yeah. I, I, I guess uh, the. Uh, issue cropped up because uh, the uh, joint venture partner of Ms. Latel uh, is China Tell. Is China Tell. Yes, and uh, the Chinese government has or controls China Tell, which is different from the situation of Globe and Smart, which are purely private entities, even if they have foreign equity, like I think uh, Globe would have uh, Singtel. Uh, I don't think Singtel has uh, uh, any <laughs> connection with the Singapore government. That is the, the, that is the concern. Yes, they will be located only in areas where uh, in, uh, Globe and uh, Smart, Smart have located. Are located. Mm -hmm. But that means, Mr. Secretary, that the Chinese government We'll have 130 listening posts. Is that a, uh, in, inside our camp? Is that a fair assessment? Mm -hmm. Is that a fa fear founded? Uh, I'm not sure if it's fair, Mr. Chair, because uh, the way it was, it was explained to me is that uh, China Tel is only a minority investor in Miss Latel. Miss Latel is still Filipino company. Yes, 40% uh, is uh, yeah. what we understand. I think it's 30%, sir. Or less, whatever. Oh. But certainly, <laughs> we all know that there are certain public utilities here in our country where China is the joint venture partner. But in effect, they are in the day-to-day -day operation. Uh, I don't have to mention the companies, but that's a, a public knowledge among those who are in the know. That is why even if, okay, so 40%, theoretically, they are a minority. But there can be what we call technical service agreements. There are many kinds of agreements which we lawyers would love to craft and to go, to go around the uh, minority position. And I guess that's the cause of concern. And you cannot blame the public for having that kind of a concern. Giving, uh, given our relationship with China and the Spratly and West Philippine Sea issues, the concern that the Chinese government is present alone inside our military camps is something that should be addressed, uh, Mr. Secretary. I am going to look into this again, Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, I have to talk to the, uh, to the JHQ, to those people who are in charge with these uh, facilities. How, how, where are they in the... Uh, how are they located in the camps? Uh, but 
the fear actually may be unfounded because uh, global and uh, global uh, and smart are also using one way systems in their uh, in their uh, in the running of their uh, we know that globe and globe uh, particularly have singtel but singtel huh? Huawei, they have Huawei systems. Huawei.